Harry Ups of Christmas, edited by the great Katie Room. Overview. Five short stories with Christmas themes from a selection of indie pubs who write to tell good stories and not just what big publishing corporations have approved. The great Katie Room from paragraphsispress.com had edited a wide swath of talent for this collection of stories. Review. This short story anthology is from the fantastic power couple from Periaps Express, and I'm a big fan of their mission and reviews. I know if a book is listed on their site, I don't need to read the review. Like this book, there are some that I like and others I like more. This book has the theme of Christmas, but had the deeper theme is indie authors who believe in a transcendent nature that the spirit of Christmas resides. Here are my reviews of each story. Workshop Rebellion by T.J. Marquise. A great way to kick off the anthology. The current day Santa comes from a long line who hold back the darkness and allows the light to flourish. This story does a good job in world building and what it needs to have you understand enough of the mythology. The use of theme and totems make Santa recognizable, but also that this Kris Kringle lifts at the gym. Good atmosphere and action. Grandpa got run over by a Bane deer by Kaylena Radcliffe. A very fun story, one that is slightly similar to Marquis' in that it has developed a mythos you are discovering with the main character. With short stories, it must be hard just how much to develop your world to the audience, but it's clear Radcliffe has one set for the characters. An ancestor of Jack Frost, along with a few other Christmas time characters, stand at the precipice of our world and another world and stands against the darkness. I would have liked a little more to understand the world and slightly less silly title, but this mythos is exactly what I want in this type of collection. Julie Nees Pays a Visit, a reverse Black Maria story by Jeff Stoner. A fun story that is in a sci-fi fantasy world that is something like John Carter of Mars. There's a nice touch with the world of Valhalla being frozen over, but there's a bit more hope than what Ragnarok would call for. There's a lot of story that sets the scene for what's the main turn of the story in the last couple of pages. I'm not sure I understood the need for that much buildup, but those last couple of pages are nice to see the, the myth of Christmas being carried to a new world. The Fairy Tree by William Jeffrey Rankin. The world for this story is a joy. To say the story is simple is to not give it enough credit. I enjoy a good father-son story because it's done well so little, if at all. This story is a grandfather and his grandson that has a mystery of Narnia-esque feel and a family lineage being passed down that hints at being stretched back for a long time. There is just a hint of a fuller story and a fight against evil. I will say that the run through a creature was a bit of an odd choice where I would was slightly confused and had to read that section again. A running from and to safety would have been a bit clearer. I would probably pick up a fuller book with the magic hinted here. Christmas Spirits by Alexander Helena. I would call this the only true sci-fi story in the lot. Technically not the only one. It's also the one that's less Christmassy set in a space western setting. The goal is getting a gift from a bounty hunter like Grandma. Good action and some funny dialogue with a good amount of world building in a short amount of time. The ending is one of irony and it's slightly off and peters out. If the story had some other examples of irony, this would have struck home more. If you're looking for fantasy sci-fi stories by talented authors who enjoy writing good stories, aren't pushing a message of hating you, the reader, and believe in the mythology of Christmas to create new worlds of enjoyment, this is the one to pick up. Final grade, eight.